Warning! The tourist scams highlighted in this video are real incidents that continue to occur in Istanbul. When traveling to Istanbul, it is crucial to stay safe and be aware of these ongoing scams. Enjoy the video, but remember to prioritize your safety throughout your trip. Discover the shocking truth behind tourist scams in the heart of Turkey's enigmatic capital. From crafty pickpockets to sinister con artists, uncover the twisted tactics that prey on unwary travelers. Navigate the treacherous pathways of Istanbul's streets as we expose the danger lurking behind its mesmerizing beauty. Like every other city in the globe, Istanbul deals with common tourist frauds. Although the majority of Turks are amazingly honest and would go out of their way to serve you rather than take advantage of you, you can always find a few people who have different motives. In a city with over 18 million residents, you shouldn't be alarmed by this. In fact, Istanbul has fewer tourist traps than other cities across the world. And with the help of this video, you too will be able to recognize and stay clear of these tourist frauds in Istanbul. Here we go. Istanbul is a stunning location with lots of attractions to see. However, what typically occurs is that thoughtless tourists become victims of pickpocketing. Some people are moving around the streets, stealing wallets from the pockets of unsuspecting tourists. You risk losing your cash, valuable documents, and credit cards. Placing your wallet in the front pocket, like most locals do, is an easy way to avoid this scam. As you continue to walk, you may encounter a man in front of you who accidentally drops his cleaning brush. When you call after him, he turns, shakes his head, and returns to pick up his brush as if to say, Oh, silly me. After saying thank you, he offers to polish your shoes. You may believe he's doing it as a gesture of gratitude, but he isn't. There's nothing you can do to stop him from charging you once those shoes have been cleaned. But please don't feel horrible about it. One of Istanbul's oldest tourist frauds is this one. When visiting Istanbul's ancient streets, be aware of this trap and don't fall for it. If you're not fond of walking, which happens frequently in most major cities, there's a typical tourist scam in Istanbul. Ask the taxi driver how much the trip will cost before you get in the car. Although he will undoubtedly inform you that the charge is metered, by asking him what you should expect to spend, he will be aware that you already have a specific budget in mind. Ask a local, like your hotel manager or a restaurant waitress, how much it should cost to get from point A to point B before you take the taxi. Tell the taxi driver about this when you get in the vehicle. If you don't do this, some drivers will take you on that scenic route throughout the city, and the taxi meter will likely double or possibly triple the amount you should be paying. If you need to cross the Galata Bridge to get to Sultan from Taksim or any other location outside of Sultanahmet, a taxi driver can inform you that the bridge is blocked and that they must take a longer route. Therefore, there isn't much you can do to inform him which route to take if you're unfamiliar with the roads and or don't speak Turkish. Using your smartphone to follow the journey might also be helpful, but be cautious of potential internet roaming fees. Just like in so many other situations, it's the minority that disproves the majority. You could fall victim to this specific trick anywhere in Istanbul, but Sultanahmet eateries are notorious for it. Halfway through the video, we invite you to subscribe to our channel for more eye-opening travel insights and safety tips. Don't miss out on future videos that will empower you to navigate cities like Istanbul with confidence. Together, let's explore the world and stay safe along the way. One of the most prevalent tourist scams in Istanbul is this one, so be on the lookout for it. When a group of musicians approaches to serenade you while you're enjoying some delectable Turkish cuisine and taking in views of the Blue Mosque and Hagia Sophia after a few drinks, you may be feeling especially appreciative of Istanbul's warm welcome. Then the bill appears. However, you're still preoccupied. Try to pay with precise change or with a credit card if possible. The reason is that you might have to wait a while if, for example, your bill was 150 lira and you gave 200, expecting 15 change. When you ask where your change was, they'll say that you had to give them the right amount of money. Of course, you didn't expect a difficult conversation and occasionally, no change in return. Again, not all restaurants operate in this manner, but it is something to be aware of. One of the biggest tour scams in Istanbul is the failure to provide the right change or the complete lack of return of any change. Don't be taken by surprise. Another scam involves having items added to your account that you didn't specifically request. 
When water is placed on your table at an open buffet, for instance, you might believe it's there for you to drink for no charge, but it isn't. The same is true for bars when you order drinks. You might have a bowl of nuts placed onto your table that you'll eat while enjoying your night, assuming they're free. But actually, you'll be charged 20 lira for the privilege. You'll often be stopped by a charming Turkish man who will inquire about your location. He may claim that he's trying to improve his English. You'll talk to him since you're polite, and he's incredibly endearing. He'll offer to accompany you to the tourist destination you're attempting to reach, saying he's just dropping something off and coming back briefly. He'll also offer you the opportunity to enter and enjoy some tea while you wait, explaining that hospitality is typical in Turkey. The next thing you know, you're being shown countless carpets while holding your cup of tea in a room. You'll be given the hard sell, including the assurance that they'll be happy to ship your products back to whichever nation you're from. Although you'll later blame yourself, it's shockingly easy to get fooled by this tourism scam. Furthermore, here's a tip. Strive to resist the urge to give in to desire when you visit the bazaars in Istanbul. We understand that it might be difficult to resist. There are numerous large bazaars in Istanbul where you can find anything you require. However, it's essential that you exercise self-control and refrain from purchasing everything you see in the bazaars. The Egyptian bazaar and the Grand Bazaar might be two of the trendiest bazaars to visit, but the products they sell are rather pricey because they're mostly made for visitors. The majority of the bazaars around here cater to tourists, so they may charge more for the goods. Therefore, you should refrain from purchasing anything from these bazaars if you don't want to be taken advantage of by the dealers in Istanbul. This doesn't end here because it's impossible to discourage tourists from shopping for clothes or souvenirs when they visit Istanbul. Turkey produces some of the highest quality clothing and carpets, which is really true. When you stop by a store while out for a stroll in Istanbul to do some shopping, you'll be treated well by the salesperson, and you may even get a discount from them. However, in actuality, they might use the card reader to bill you in euros rather than Turkish liras when you urge them to do so. Therefore, you can either pay with cash or verify that the machine is billing in Turkish liras before using your credit card to avoid scams. I hope you all enjoyed this roller coaster ride. By the way, what was your experience of knowing this city? What country or city would you like to see in the next video? Comment to tell us while subscribing to our channel and roll the key to hit the bell icon to get notified from us for the upcoming videos. See you all next time. Adios.